Hey, stock jockey. How you doing this morning, bud? It's good to see you. Well, I'm up early here and thought, what the hell? Silver just now hit 17 and popped back down, so. Gold is on the edge. Be interesting to see how it all pans out today. Uh, see if I can pull the charts up. Say hello if you're popping in. Dang, it's 4.30 a.m. where I am on the West Coast, deep. Deep in the woods of the Pacific Northwest. But I start work early because a lot of my buyers for the Bunker Bullion Project are in Asia and on the East Coast. and I seem to be able to meet them at this time of the day. Hey, Silver Mac. Dang, dude. It's good to see you. Got up early. I've been working early, dude, because, uh, as you know, a lot of our buyers <coughs> are up earlier than I am. So I've been starting work at 4 o'clock each day. Silver Honda. Dang, dude. It's good to see you. So Silver Honda actually drives a blue Honda, which is cool. All right. Well, let's see where we are at the moment. I like to follow Provident because, uh, I don't know, that's what I do. So there we are with gold at 1496 almost, and silver is over 17, 1701. Let's go ahead and put it on the silver chart since it's bouncing right there. Look at that. That's looking like we may end up... Uh, we may end up moving higher than that 17. You know, I have mixed feelings on it. As far as silver, I don't care what the spot price is. I stacked 5,000 ounces, and then I've been sitting here for a year and a half waiting for the gold to silver ratio to be somewhat reasonable. As far as gold, I have not sold any of that. A couple months ago, I shared, uh, maybe it's only been a month and a half, a video saying I was thinking of selling some, take some profits. I haven't yet, and I'm glad I haven't, but dang, if we hit that 15, I don't know. We'll see. It's all so reliant on uh, things that can change real quickly right now. So, yeah, Silver Honda. I, uh, I sound like an old, I just woke up kind of guy at 4.30, but It'll come to me. So we seem to be holding that 1701. When it hit 17 for the first time, maybe about 10 minutes ago, it popped back down. Uh, so what's going on out there in the uh, silver world? Silver Mac is saying I should hold my gold. I have. 18 ounces of my 20 ounces left. I sold my fractional uh, last time we were up. And uh, I've got five ounces. Actually, my uh, my stacking goal for the gold was 10, but I got pretty good at it, so I stacked 20, knowing that I would take the other 10 and take some profits and then shift some of my silver holdings into gold when the gold to silver ratio modified. But uh, or moderated but that hasn't happened but uh i'm not against profit taking dudes some people it's really funny i get comments like oh profit taking is silly dudes no it isn't that's ridiculous profit taking is the way you play the game uh i've got my permastat gold and it's gonna sit there and it's for my heirs but uh <clears throat> as far as taking some profits, I'm not against that. So let's take a look at where we are with gold. Silver is just sitting right on that exact $17. All right, $14.96 still. But if you look at the, uh, if you look at the chart, Twenty-four hour gold chart here. 
um, 15, 1500 on the gold is looking like it's going to, uh, it's going to get tested. There's nothing special as far as uh, support and resistance of that 15, uh, obviously, because we haven't been there for a while. I'm not going to accept risk. Dudes, quit trying to sell me shit. Oh. But if you see here, this pattern, we get the higher highs, higher lows for 24 hours. And uh, I think we're going to test that 1500. Like I said, it's nothing really special except that it's a nice big fat round number. And those tend to have a psychological kind of a pull. All right, let's go back through some of these channels. No more lemon cake. Ah, lemon cake. I'm in favor of lemon cake. Uh, Silver Honda likes the new Perth Pirate coin. Yep. You know, I stopped adding silver to, or actually adding ounces to my stack over a year ago. I still play the game and shift things here and there, and of course I sell silver, but <clears throat> but uh, those are the kinds of things that sometimes you can do pretty well on a new coin from Perth Mint. If you look at the track record of new coins from Perth Mint over the last little while, it's not a bad track record, even if you don't get in super quickly when it happens. All right, well, let's go back to the main page here. Easier to follow. Good morning, a Losing Louie. It's good to see you. Yeah, yesterday was a smack, and I was thinking that today we were going to pop back down, but, um, you know, a lot of this is obviously related to the, to the trade relations deal with China and uh, what that means, especially with the way that our president likes to do things, is that it can change really quickly. So as we approach that 1500 per ounce, I'm still asking that question. I've got those five ounces sitting there with some fat profit to be taken. I think I averaged, like, I'll have to go back and look, but like 1050, 1070, something like that, after all the e-bucks kind of games I played. So uh, 400 plus profit per ounce if I sell five of my surplus. Silver Mac brings up that uh, Yuan got devalued. Um, yep, they're uh, trying to, they're trying to have this uh, trade war with, uh, you know, people say that America's in decline, man, but dang, we're still holding a lot of cards, man. And uh, we'll see how this thing works out. But in the meantime, it means people are deciding what to do with their assets. Uh, so I do get up early. I always have been an early riser. I've been getting up earlier so I can kind of communicate with some of my customers, both in Asia and on the East Coast of the United States. And then I saw, hey, boom, silver hit 17. Silver is holding 17 plus. And if you look at the, if you look at the shape of that chart, boy, that's not looking like it's gonna pull back anytime soon. So we'll see how it kind of just fiddles around right here for a minute. What you want to look at, I'm not a technical analyst and I've purposefully not shared a bunch of investing advice on my channel. But uh, when you start to see this kind of a rounding down, boom, that's when it can just drop on you quick. So uh, if I were to be selling my gold today, and I don't expect to, and before people freak out again, if you're just joining us, I have extra gold that I have planned to sell and take profits on. Mongrel Maple. Dude, it's good to see you. It is nearly 10 p.m. here in Australia. It's been a fun day watching the price jump. Still a newbie stacker. 
Well, I'm glad you joined. Everybody, if you're not subscribed to Mongrel Maple, check him out. I don't know if he's uh, got any content, but maybe we can <coughs> get him going. He says he likes my work. Dude, thanks. I sure appreciate that. Huh. Who's in Louis? Norse Dragon. I didn't look at that. That's the next in the Dragon series, huh? As I mentioned, I'm not really buying that stuff anymore. And it is kind of, damn it, it is kind of fun to see what uh, is coming out. Boom, where's the Norse? Okay, I'm going to start custom for real here in a minute. This is a new computer. Let's see. There it is. Get yours today. Norse Dragon. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all, does it? That's been a good series. What are those? Elemental? I mean, uh, Golden State? Who's making those? Is that Golden State? Somebody remind me. Worst investment ever. Tactile Z. You'll have to be more specific than that. Are you saying that gold and silver is the worst investment ever? Um, I don't really treat it as an investment, although I do speculate occasionally. Um, but I can think of some worse investments. I don't know, Enron didn't work out all that great. But it's good to see you anyway. Tactical Z, if you want to elaborate. <coughs> Worst investment ever. I don't know. Any of you guys have a nominee for worst investment ever? Let's move over by the fire and talk about a worst investment you've ever made. Damn, I don't know what the worst investment I ever made. Right now, I suppose the worst investment you could make for a bunch of people would be a college education. <laughs> come out dumber than you were when you went in and uh, spend a bucket load of cash. So I guess that'd be a bad investment for lots of folks. Worst investment ever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still kind of fixating on that. I don't know, man. My worst investment ever. It's probably a bunch of high-end audio recording gear back when I was performing. I thought I would set up my own recording studio. Sits downstairs all obsolete. That was my worst investment ever. Silver Mac. His IRA was the worst investment ever. <laughs> uh, not lately. Okay, Silver Honda. Dude, got to uh, head on in to Walmart. Get some good coffee. Take your... Uh, Take your tactical gear and your bulletproof vest, bro. And uh, we'll see you. I appreciate you popping in. Ouch. How do you lose four grand in an IRA? So it must have been the particular fund, huh? Uh, man. I agree, college is probably even worse. Okay, well, we got common ground. Uh, where are you, Tactical Z? Are you in the US? Are you somewhere down under? The Blackman Obama era, it was. Okay. Back in. Hey, you know what? I, I got some. Uh, some Obama rounds I'm going to be melting. Hey, Silver Watcher. There you go. At work. All right. Well, Silver is still kind of making that move. Let's come back over to the charts. My uh, super technical studio here. Uh, Silver Mac probably should have left it alone. Yep. I'm not smart enough, man. I like to try to pick something reasonable, stick it there, and leave it. Um, as far as equities, and I like to have cash, man. People are, people are down on cash like the world's going to end tomorrow. Shut up. It's going to be fine, dudes. 
Uh, cash is still king. The American dollar. Officially the cleanest shirt in the dirty laundry basket. We got problems, dudes, but uh, compared to everyone else, we're still <laughs> we're still the gorilla. And the gorilla is still hungry, man. 1706 for silver right now. Let's see how gold is faring. I don't want to miss when we actually hit. Ooh. All right, let's zoom in and see if we can hit $1,500 live. It has been a while. Anybody remember how long it's been since we've hit that 1500 mark? So we're 89 cents away. I guess I want to maybe refresh the page myself so we don't miss it. 89 cents from $1,500 per ounce. First ounce of silver I bought, or of gold, was maybe four years ago. Uh, I paid, God, I want to say, nah, I'm not even going to say because I can't remember. I paid spot at the time. Nice little pimp Swiss bar from Silvertown. Neat. Hoo-hoo, there we go. 44 cents on the gold. Hitting 1,500. I don't have any fireworks or anything if it happens. Then the question is, what's going to happen when it goes back down? Lady Bullion. Good morning, Lady Bullion. It's good to see you. 5.03 a.m. here on the west coast of the United States. Uh, I see eight of us watching. I assume lots of you are actually up at a normal time. I get up early and I start working my silver pouring things, but... Uh, I don't usually sit here and watch Providence chart, although I watch charts pretty carefully. 8 a.m. on the East Coast. Well, I'm glad you joined us, Lady Bullion. We're sitting here watching to see if we're going to hit that 1500 live together here on Fantastic YouTube. Censorer of thought. All right. Boom. All right. Well... It didn't like how close it was getting to 1500 right there. Pop back down to 1498.52. Silver's holding strong at 1705. With my pouring things, I kind of liked silver in that 1450 zone. It's easier to sell a 10 ounce bar when silver spot is 1450, especially when you've got a healthy premium to attach. But Everything adjusts. I'll just make smaller bars. Ah, uh, Silver Watcher. I know ever since I saw a Rolo, I was hooked. <laughs> yes. All right, well, maybe gold's just not ready to get there. We'll see. And then the question is, when it hits, you know, do the sellers, like me, if Provident was open, I'd be honest, I'd be uh, considering dropping two of the five surplus ounces I'm sitting on, waiting to take some profits. Haha, <laughs> Silver Watcher's got to go, go pretend he's working for a living. All right, boss, here I am. Well, I sure appreciate you stopping in, Silver Watcher. We'll be here. Your boss will get bored of working soon, and he'll take off, too. Or she. Okay, Silver Mac, go kill it, man. You're the king. Go kill it. We'll hold the fort down. Silver Mac, going off to work. Have a good day, buddy. Going to a meeting. Damn. That's one thing I do not miss since I uh, took an early retirement for some health reasons. Meetings. All right, well, we got 41 cents to go here. Silver holding strong at 17.05. You, uh, you still out there losing, Louie? I got a question for you if you are. Let me know.
Well, if you're just joining us, this is not um, exciting in any way, except that we're watching uh, spot price on gold and silver. Silver has uh, crossed the $17 per ounce, and gold is kind of teasing us with $1,500. <coughs> Figured if you are a silver or a gold bug and you're just getting up this morning, you're you're noticing that that uh, yesterday's upward push is continuing. I usually uh, watch the news and check out a lot of the both political and economic kind of happenings. I haven't done that this morning. I'm not sure there's any specific cause for this. I think it's just more. More people, a uh, lot of uncertainty right now. <laughs> hey, Yankee stacking, bro. It's good to see you. Mongrel Maple hopes that gold cracks 1500 so he can go to bed. <laughs> uh, 2240 in Australian dollar. All right, well, Mongrel Maple, all the gold will still be there. Go to bed. Sleep is, is uh, an important kind of a deal. Well, here it is, dudes. Let's zoom in on that. I don't have a celebration. We are at fourteen ninety nine eighty two, eighteen cents away from a level that psychologically is kind of exciting, man. Let's we'll see if the uh, sellers come in and smack it right back down, or if. Uh, See, the thing with the precious metals, especially anything else. Hey, Silver Heist, thanks for joining us, man. It is just after 5 o'clock where I am in the morning. I know we've got uh, people watching from all around the world, all nine of us. Five of us like what they're doing here, which is weird. There it is. Boom. Damn. 1501. Let's celebrate. I don't know. Let's create some motion. Come over to the fire. There we go. 1500 gold 1500 holy cow all right well that was a hell of a party silver 1707 as we speak all right dudes well a 15 handle on an ounce of gold we have not seen that nobody has popped in uh no one's popped in to let me know just when 1500 was last achieved on the the gold spot price been a while. Uh, Yankee Stacking is asking if silver is confirming. Let's pop over to the silver chart. 1707. If you look, man, that's a real, whoops, that's real pointy over here. Boom. Now, that can either kind of start doing some of this and up if it starts rounding. Up, 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 up. Grab your parachute. All right, Lady Bullion, have a good day at work. It is great to see you. Sudati, the two 10-year bond inversion may be driving this. There's a lot of factors, I'm sure, and that's, that's possibly one of them. Um, I'm thinking it's a lot of just uncertainty with the, uh, the China and U.S. trade war. All right, Yankee Stack, and thanks for putting in some party emojis there. I, I did my best. Silver Heist says 1500 by the dip. But there's no dip here, yeah? Wait long enough. Yep, yeah, you know what? I think, uh, I think 1500 is just going to be a start. Stock jockey, I knew we could count on you. April 2013 was the last time gold had $1,500 attached to it. Nice. So, six years, dudes. Over six years since we've been at the $1,500 for gold. Silver, I believe, reached it more recently than that, obviously. All right, so we 
went up to a high of 1501 something and now it's back there at 1500 so now over the next maybe 10 or 15 minutes we'll kind of toy with this and see see if uh, the buyers are still coming yep there it is popping back down below 1500 this is what silver did about a half an hour ago hit the 1700 pop back down I mean that's seventeen dollars pop back down, so we can expect gold to do the same. These uh, kind of milestone prices, big fat round numbers like fifteen hundred, psychologically they kind of work in. Silver, see you at fifteen fifty silver heist. All right, man. Well, you have a good day. I'm glad you stopped in to say hello. So I was talking about the psychology with the metals. When when you get these kind of spikes, and it's true with other investments, but in particular with silver or gold, and you get people that are on the sidelines and they, they start getting into the excitement. So then you get kind of an irrational push upward based on it being exciting to be, you know, involved in a game. So... All right, let's check some comments here. Uh, Yankee Stacking says, this is different than the last gold pop in July. Silver did not confirm right away at that point. Silver has been uh, its own little deal for a while. It's nice to see it kind of slipping into its traditional role as little sister to the gold. Uh, huh? Yankee stacking. I think January 4th prediction of the start of the recession by the end of the summer might still hold true. We shall see. I'm not seeing it, bro, but uh, I am not an expert on any of that. I try to be prepared for it if it comes, but I'm not seeing anything but continued growth for a while still. All right, so we popped down below 15, and now we're just back above 15. As it does that, we may see kind of a, a nice 2 or $3 jump either above or below 15, which will give us our first good signal as to whether this is going to stand true. All right, dudes, well, what else is going out there in the precious metals markets? We can see here, I'm like an advertisement for Provident Metals. I like Provident Metals. They have been a good company for me. It's where I do most of my selling, which I don't do that often. But the thing I sell most often, up and down, is junk silver or constitutional silver. So I can often buy it for less I can buy it to uh, use an e-bucks and credit card kickbacks for less than the Provident Metals buyback. Let's see what their buyback is right now. So I buy junk on the dips whenever it kind of lines up with some e-bucks and then I sell on the peaks. Are we not buying? Has Provident Metals shut down their buyback of constitutional silver? Hmm. I'm not sure I remember that happening. Am I just stupid and missing it? I know I am stupid. Uh, Travis Dunn, thanks for stopping in. Travis Dunn was kind of upset, upset when he placed an order at Provident two days ago. They started placing a sales tax on Tennessee. Yep, that's not Provident. That's uh, Tennessee. My state of Washington does not charge sales tax on bullion and coins. Okay, well, I am not seeing... The buyback so it looks as though provident metals is not buying any of my junk silver today that is the first time that has happened 
if I'm just missing it, dudes, pop in and let me know, but I don't see it. All right, well, let's go in. The gold I have that is surplus that I'm considering taking profits on. I have been for a while. That's what I bought it for. This was speculatory. The other gold I have is to be left for my heirs. So let's see. We're looking for the random date one ounce. All right, well, it looks as though Provident is not buying right now, dudes. Am I wrong? Somebody go on and confirm that with me. Um, yeah, Yankee, when I play the ups and downs on a couple of products, you can profit uh, pretty decently, get a good enough deal. And then it just takes about a, you know, this $2 spike we've had recently here in silver. That's more than enough that uh, I can sell a couple hundred dollars of stuff back to silver or a couple hundred face value dollars back to Provident, make a little bit, and then uh, wait for the next go around. <coughs> Dang, well, I do not remember. This is the one right there. Yesterday, I was looking into it, and uh, there it is. Okay, they're just not showing it on the front. So the buyback would be 1487 or so ounce this is what I've got I've got five extra Canadian maple leaves all right well that's good to know let's go back over see where we are so gold just bouncing back under that 15 silver standing at 1704 at the moment um yeah thank you uh Sudati when I when I check the prices on my iPad, it actually shows the buyback under each individual listing without clicking. But on the laptop, you are right. Um, Silver Star says Silver 16.96. Yeah, it depends what you're looking at. I use the Provident chart. Boom. 17.05. It's that difference between the ask and the the bid, I suppose, but uh, that's what it is. I use the uh, spot price for what it is that I would pay if I were to purchase. So, silver holding. Gold, actually, you know, holding, but slightly under 1500 Uh Travis, I did find the buyback on the gold. Let's see if we find the buyback on the... I'm sure we'll find it here. Come on, man. There we go. You gonna make me use the mouse? All right, junk silver. Buy back is this item right here. All right, the junk silver buyback is 1177. And uh, if you remember, I shared a video on a while back buying a junk, uh, yeah, hi-ho. You, you know, Yankee, you're right. I used to not drink coffee, but I apparently need to start. So, uh, the last junk silver I bought, um, like 10.02, I think, per face dollar is what I paid. So, buyback is 11.77 now. Um, throw a couple hundred dollars worth of that into a priority box and boom you can uh, you can get some profits and then you you sit on that the way I stack and I need to I need to share this I've been so busy but the way I stack is I put I stack money into an account so that it's always loaded and ready to go um, so I can take advantage of things both buying and selling and uh, so if I were to sell some junk, which I might, I might sell some junk silver today, we'll see. Then that money goes right back into my precious metals account. And I can sit and wait for a nice fat dip or a good, what we have, like a 13% eBay coupon or whatever. And then I'm already loaded, fat, and ready. 
All right, 1705 is where we're sitting with the purchase price from Provident Metal Silver Spot. Okay, Yankee, get out there, man. Kill it. Have a good day at work. Thanks for stopping in. Silver Stars says he's buying all he can, picking up 100-ounce bars today. I've got a 100-ounce bar coming in for the business today. Kind of a cheesy-looking eagle one, if you saw that a week or so ago on uh, eBay Daily Deals. All right, well, let's go back here. There is the uh, the couple dollars under. That might be our signal that we're just not ready to hit that 1500 and go from there. Often what you'll see is uh, both with uh, resistance, um, you'll test it several times and then um, blast through or really fall short. We'll see. Today will be fun. Have to watch the news and see what's actually happening. Either way, man. Let's, uh... I should have been doing the live chat on the laptop so I could check some other things on the iPad. Well, let's go over to the fireplace. <laughs> and I'm going to pop in on the, uh on the eBay silver daily deals. See what we got going on. <coughs> Mellow Stacker says it definitely doesn't feel like time to sell to me. Yep, I've got surplus stuff, and I'm always thinking about profit taken. So it definitely does seem like an opportunity to sell right here uh, for me on some gold, which I might do. I might sell two ounces of that today. We will see Ryan James, 100-ounce pant bar. Yep, I've got a bunch of hundreds. Garachi's asking, have I sold gold? Dude, no. He's been watching my pursuit on that. When uh, we crossed 1,400, I, that's when I first started thinking, okay, this is fat enough, I could take some profits. But I did not, Varacha, you should be proud of me. Um, but I'm not saying I won't. I'm not, gonna, uh, I'm not gonna worry about it because I don't need my precious metals money. And you shouldn't either. If you're buying silver and gold and you're not sitting pretty pretty strong where you are with your finances, that's a mistake, dudes. That's a mistake. It needs to be, uh, you got to have life insurance taken care of. You need to have a nice fat emergency fund set up. You don't need to be buying precious metals with money. You might need to fix a car or do anything else, man. That's how people get hosed hard in this in this game selling when you don't or selling when you have to man so i don't need my precious metals money so i just sit and uh, i play with it <laughs> Farachi wants me to wait till three thousand to five thousand yeah man i'm holding all my silver because i hear a hundred dollars an ounce is just right around the corner yeah i read that somewhere it's for sure gonna happen Just as soon as the world comes to an end, because that's going to happen too. All right, deals on silver. Grumpy one. Welcome. It's an alternative emergency fund. Yeah, some people use it like that. I don't. I don't see it that way because it's not liquid enough. Um, but I I know what you're saying. It's a, like a real, real, real emergency fund. But, uh, so here's what's going on. These are the eBay daily deals for silver. I check this all day long. And what I'm looking for as a, a silver core, I'm looking for um, real close to spot generic.
which has been hard to come by lately, but now with this jump, that one right there, that's the 100 ounce I have coming in. I bought it for more than $100, less than that. But I haven't seen that one before. That one's coming, I think, today. It's made by uh, the largest privately owned mint. I forget their names, but uh, I'll share that when it comes in. Uh huh. I don't see anything super spectacular. MK Bars has been showing some things on his, or doing some things daily deals. So let's plug him, little MK Bar action. Michael at MK Bars, he's a gem. I like him a lot. All right, well, I don't see anything super spectacular. I wasn't expecting to. A couple days ago, there was a deal on 10 Sunshine Silver. I should have grabbed 100 ounces of, of those. That only lasted the day. see see what happens as the uh, as the precious metals guys get to work and start doing their thing maybe they'll share a, a deal here or there let's go back and see how we're doing on spot price all right so there you see it so we flirted with that 15. I do not expect to see 1,500 again today or for the rest of the week. That's just a hunch based on what happened when we got there. So gold is back down to 1,495.56. Silver has dropped below $17. Now 1,696. Now we just kind of see where it ends up. So as we're in here, well, that doesn't go all the way over, does it? Where this bottom lies, if we keep kind of stair-stepping down, like I said before, if you see that rounding action, head for the hills. All right, well, I think that's going to kind of confirm where we are, dudes. That was fun. We got to see 15 for uh, for the first time since 2013. Stock Jockey uh, told us and reminded us it was April of 2013 before gold commanded 1,500 per ounce. High five. Damn, it's good to see you, bro. Thanks for coming in. High five thinks 18 to 20 is a sell point. That is true several sell points and it's good to kind of have a plan before you arrive at that at that time so that you know what you're going to do with my uh, selling oh Farachi Farachi asks uh, before I answer that question Farachi <coughs> Uh, Grumpy is saying gold to silver ratio at 88.5. That's nice, at least to be in the 80s, bro. I still need, I'd still need in the 70s. I've got a buttload of silver I'm sitting on that's eventually going to get turned, a bunch of it, into gold. And that silver to gold ratio has just not cooperated. Okay, Verace asks, what will Bunker Bullion's silver price be if silver hits 20? For you... Or for customers that I give a good price to. For you, it's going to be massive. I, man, I can't even think in numbers that high. If silver hits 20, well, it depends. You tend to like my connoisseur things, and those tend to have about a $10 premium. 
So you're noticing the connoisseur things I've been selling for about $30 an ounce, which is a $12 premium on some of those things. Um, in general, about an $8 premium is what I need to, to make it, to, to make it worth my time. So it's still going to be super affordable. So Verace, I got that 20 ounce in the polishing process. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. All right, Grumpy One picked up some 90% at the LCS two weeks ago uh, and has been following that gold to silver ratio too. Yeah, that was a big part of my game, guys. And uh, that part hasn't worked out yet. All right. Well, the excitement for the morning has waned. There's still 15 of us with nothing else to do. At some point, dudes, you got to get up and get some clothes on and go make some money. Uh, all right. Yeah, Verace, don't wait for that 20 ounce. You need to be buying some of what I'm sharing this week. That 20 ounce won't be ready till next week. You probably better load up a package full of stuff, other stuff this week. Like that dimple cast 5 ounce I shared yesterday. That thing is beautiful. I've got a 7 ounce uh, dimple cast square that I'm working on too. Probably want to get the set. I'll cut you a deal. You know, I need to do a Verace coupon. Maybe I'll do that at some point. A Verace coupon code for those special customers that keep your business afloat. I will let the rest of you know Verace's a, a good fella. He's been a great supporter of my artwork, which uh, technically is not artwork. My lawyers inform me, and uh, it's tied into the Northwest Territorial Mint decision that put them out of business, but uh, I don't charge sales tax in my state because my state considers bullion non-taxable. It's exempt. Hey, losing Louis, you think we're going to 1720? All right, we'll see. I don't think so. Either way, have a great day. Um, I forget what I'm saying. I'm too tired. So, Grumpy, you've actually been... Uh, my computer shut off. Here, let me get a nice mirror of my unwashed face. Boom. Um, Grumpy, you've been toning my pieces. I'd love to see how they're toning. I've got uh, some 50 gram rounds that I did. I haven't stamped them yet. they got like four months ago that I'm doing a toning deal on. Mine are toning super slow. I'd love to see how yours are toning. All right. Well, I'm about to call this a deal. I got some nasty stuff to share on Instagram. If you are not a follower of Bunker Bullion on Instagram, a lot of the stuff I'm selling never even shows up on YouTube. It just goes in and out the door. So I share the things I do all day. As I finish them, I share them on Instagram. And often they're gone within minutes. Baracha, you need to get in there, bro. It's been two weeks. I don't know what's up. So let's end this gold. We hit that 1500. I believe the high was like 150150, something like that. And uh, we've settled back down five bucks or so. And I think we're going to stay there. I don't think we're going to hit that 15 again today or maybe even this week. And uh, you never know, man. That could have been a. a moment in time that's gone we could easily bounce bounce hard uh, if you look historically there's a decent chance that 
we're gonna pop back down into the 13, maybe 1320 support level still. So there's no guarantee on any of this roller coaster ride, dude. So like I said, if you need your precious metals money, that's a mistake. You need your precious metals to be something you don't need so that you don't uh, you don't have to sell at inopportune times. All right, dudes. Well, let's wrap it up. Thanks for stopping in. There's still 16 of you. Grumpy won, uh, setting all-time highs in many other currencies. That's true. That's true. We are uh, dollar-dominated here. Other currencies... Uh, I don't know. That could be the next big trouble if we start getting into some sort of a currency war. That's a bad deal. That is bad business. But, you know, we still live at a time where being a human is easier than it's ever been for most of us. And got to be thankful for that. Oh, yeah, I forget, Verace. You got a bunch of stuff coming. But, uh... Uh, didn't I send that last week? Anyway, yeah, you have a big box. I, I forget how long it takes to get to you. It's gonna take you a week or so. So, anyway, yeah. I guess I'll let you off the hook this time. That box, man, I had to... I had to snip and trim to get that under two pounds it just came out exactly at two pounds um, talking about a box I sent to Verace see if we can get some hummingbird action while we're here and uh, to get the international shipping rate that uh, we both like it's got to be two pounds or less shipping weight so that last one dude that was as much as we can get in there dang all right everybody well i gotta go to work i'm assuming some of you do too let's wrap it up gold went above 1500 and silver went above 17 dollars both have since backed down below those milestones but it should be an exciting day and week I sure appreciate you all stopping in. Head on over. Dang, there's more people coming in. i got to keep talking. Doctor Who, uh, everybody is talking about spot prices this morning. Yeah, we had some excitement going. Grumpy One says it's neat to see a sunrise a second time. Yeah, it's almost coming up. I have to wait maybe another uh, half an hour or so before it actually is in my eyes. Uh, yeah, Doctor Who, we've been sitting around kind of just shooting the, shooting the bull, watching the, uh, spot prices. A little bit of excitement, but, uh, we'll see where it goes from here. All right, now I'm actually going to say goodbye. Have a great day, everybody. Go try to be productive. Try to be a little bit thankful. Nothing is perfect, but, uh, it's a darn decent time to be a human all right dang there's another one lincoln dmz thanks bro it's good to see you i hope i have said hello to everybody and now i am saying goodbye to everybody take care maybe i'll pop back in later today until then go buy some bunker bullion i hear that shit is really good super shiny super shiny all right i love you all take care everybody we'll see you again